in an era shrouded by the mists of time where gods and titans held dominion over the cosmos, one figure reigned supreme in a realm untouched by the divine light of the eternal ether. Shrouded in darkness, veiled in mystery, a figure cloaked with an aura both formidable and intimidating. This figure was not a merciless tyrant nor an uncontested hero, but a divine ruler who had accepted an unforeseen responsibility and turned it into a realm of strict order and merciful civility. His name? Hades, the resolute and enigmatic lord of the underworld. Welcome back to Epic Mythos, where we delve into the timeless realms of mythology, reigniting ancient wisdom for your modern journey. Hades' tale is neither an account of malevolence nor a chronicle of evil. Rather, it is a narrative spun from the fabric of duty and necessity. His beginnings echo with familiar notes of betrayal and treachery, elements that formed the grand tapestry of the Greek pantheon. Born to the Titan deities Cronus and Rhea, he was, like his siblings, swallowed whole at birth to prevent a prophecy, one that foresaw Cronus's dethronement by his offspring. Yet the bonds of destiny cannot be broken by such brutal tactics. As foretold by the prophecy, Hades, along with his siblings, would not remain imprisoned forever. Zeus, his younger brother, led a revolt against their father, Cronus, forcing him to release his swallowed children. This marked the initiation of the legendary war between the Titans and the Olympian gods, the Titanomachy. The Titanomachy was a conflict as vast as the cosmos itself. Fought over ten grueling years, the gods and the Titans clashed in a war that shook the foundations of reality. The victory that came was hard fought, with the gods, led by the trio of brothers, Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, emerging victorious. As the dust settled and the old order fell, a new divine order was to be established. Zeus laid claim to the heavens, Poseidon took to the seas, and Hades was assigned the underworld. The underworld, far from being a sought-after kingdom, was the realm of the deceased, a world shrouded in darkness it was a stark and somber realm that mirrored its ruler's solitude and solemnity. Yet it was Hades who stoically accepted this realm as his own. Donning his helm of invisibility, he descended into his shadowy kingdom, guided by an unwavering sense of duty and balance. Beneath the earth, he ruled with quiet authority and a firm hand, ensuring that the realm of the dead stayed in harmony with the realm of the living. Amidst the spectral shades that flitted through his kingdom and the eerie, chthonic creatures that populated its shadowy corners, Hades was far from being alone. His kingdom, while devoid of the vibrant colors and lively melodies that adorned the upper world, held its unique array of inhabitants, each with their own part to play in the grand cycle of existence. Central to these was Cerberus, the formidable three-headed hound that served as the loyal sentinel of the underworld. This beast, as fearsome as it was faithful, stood guard at the gates of the underworld, its burning eyes forever watchful, its snarling maws ready to deter any who dared to disrupt the natural order. Cerberus was no mere a guard dog. He was a constant companion to Hades, a steadfast shadow that mirrored the solitary nature of its master. Born of the same monstrous lineage as the Linnaean Hydra and the Nemean Lion, Cerberus was a formidable creature. Yet in the company of Hades, he was tame, loyal to a fault, and a resolute pillar of support for the underworld's ruler. Their companionship was more than just the bond between a master and his sentinel. It was a symbol of Hades' solitary rule and his commitment to duty. The three heads of Cerberus represented the past, the present, and the future, while its serpent tail served as a reminder of constant vigilance and readiness to strike against any threat. With Cerberus by his side, Hades ensured that no soul that had crossed the Styx could escape its due fate, upholding the balance that dictated the cosmic order. In the heart of the underworld, a realm shadowed by spectral gloom and eerie silence, a beam of ethereal beauty pierced the ashen desolation. It was none other than Persephone, the vibrant goddess of spring, an unexpected bloom amidst a relentless winter. The stark contrast of her life-infused presence against the lifeless confines of Hades' dominion was a breathtaking spectacle. 
one that didn't go unnoticed by the king of the underworld himself. The daughter of Demeter, Persephone was more than just a beautiful entity. She carried the life-giving essence of the springtime season within her. She carried an ineffable life force within her, an energy that breathed life and color into everything it touched. In a realm barren of growth, her vibrant spirit was an anomaly, a spark of life amidst the lifeless. Drawn to her luminescent spirit, Hades found himself ensnared in her allure. Her vitality stood as a beacon in his world of shadows. Overcome with longing, he decided to make her his queen, offering her a kingdom where her light could find a home. Even in the darkest corners of existence, their union transcended mere marital bond. It marked a symbolic marriage of life and death, knitting together two stark realities. Through his marriage to Persephone, Hades invited life into the realm of death, binding the world of the dead to the cycle of life and rebirth. Yet their love story, while tender, carried a tragic undercurrent. The absence of Persephone led to Demeter casting the earth into a bitter winter. However, a compromise emerged. Persephone would share her time, spending a part of the year above ground, bringing about the growth of spring and the abundance of summer. As she returned to Hades, her departure marked the onset of autumn and the barrenness of winter. This cyclical journey mirrored the constant rhythm of life and death, embodying the perpetual cycle of the cosmos. The world mourned her descent with the browning autumn leaves and celebrated her return with the first blooms of spring, their love story marking the seasons. In the shadowy layers of the underworld, their love story bloomed, crafting a balance between life and death offering a bridge between two starkly different realms. Their tale echoes the truth that love can find its place even in the bleakest corners, and life always finds a way. Now, with his radiant wife by his side, Hades was poised to continue his rule of the underworld. It was one of justice, not malevolence. Here, Charon, the ferryman, ensured that the souls of the deceased crossed the river Styx whilst the fates spun, measured, and cut the thread of life with unbiased hands. The underworld, under Hades' command, was an intricate system of balance and retribution, ensuring that the cycle of life and death remained unbroken. Hades' symbols are as complex and mysterious as the god himself. His helm of invisibility is a symbol of his elusive nature, shielding him from the prying eyes of both mortal and divine. The Bident, a two-pronged implement akin to a pitchfork stands for his control over the Earth's riches and his rule in the underworld. The Narcissus flower, forever linked to his queen Persephone, serves as a poignant symbol of love, rebirth, and the cyclical nature of life. Hades, despite being cloaked in darkness and mystery, has a rich legacy that endures. He's a symbol of inevitability, the eternal cycle of life and death, and the quiet acceptance of duty. His story resonates with us, reminding us of the balance that governs existence and the solemn, unyielding role he plays in maintaining that balance. As we conclude the story of Hades, the misunderstood god of the underworld, we leave with an understanding that his story is a testament to the brilliance of duty, the strength in quiet resolve, and the power of love amidst solitude, a tale that unveils the power that lies in the shadows the strength that thrives in silence, and the potency of an unyielding commitment to duty. We hope this journey through the life and legacy of Hades has inspired you as it has countless others through millennia. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Until our paths cross again in the realm of myths and legends, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring.